check this out. This is free, free tapas. You're being silly now, Rick. <laughs> this is not penis, is it? No, no, it's not. No, it's not. Why did it taste so good? <laughs> <laughs> And one like this, not small! <laughs> okay. And one like this! <laughs> yeah. Now we've halved it. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. It's massive though, look at that! Isn't that crazy? Yo, why have I not eaten this before? I know! Hello everybody and welcome! Today we're here in Madrid, the capital city of Spain. And today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. Today we're gonna go and find some cheap eats something that's not going to break the bank, something that's going to be cheap, something that's going to be quick and something that's going to be easy. Now, today's Cheap Eats video is going to be a little bit different than usual. We've got a special guest who's going to be joining us on this trip today. Yes, we're going to be with the one, the only, Jake Cooper from Jake Cooper Travels. Hey buddy, how you doing? How you doing man, you okay? Welcome to Madrid. Thank you, I'm excited to be here man. Isn't it fantastic here, I yeah? Know. Isn't this place beautiful? beautiful? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm very surprised, mate. It's very different to Hong Kong anyway. It's not <laughs> Benidorm, is it? Cheap Eats Madrid, Spain. Cheap Eats Madrid, mate. You said Back food, in. and you've, you've got my mind going now. I'm getting excited. Food and beer. Oh, wow. So, where are we going first, Rick? Where do you want to take us to check out? Well, oh, well let's, let's go see Spider-Man. That's, and it, look, that statue is actually of him. Yeah, oh, wow. Hello, Spider-Man. I have a question. Yes. Go for it. Don't I have a question. I trust it. Okay. okay. You trust I me? don't trust in this guy. Oh, you, okay. The question is easy, okay? Yeah. Nike. Nike, yeah. From England. Yeah. Chocolate eyes. Oh, okay. You got it. He's a good boy or a bad boy? Ah, uh, he's all right. Yeah. You don't look like all right, sir. He <laughs> looks like a criminal, sir. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it, Spider-Man? I'm gonna kill the boy in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you take the picture. Come on. <laughs> and one like this, not small. <laughs> okay. And one like this. <laughs> yeah. And <Okay>. one. <laughs> this is not fly, fly. Fly, fly, fly. And one last, sexy like me. Yeah, you what? know what he tell me about you, Jake? What? He tell me you call me fat. What? I did. Oh, Spider-Man, I would never. Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? I, I told you. Yeah. got a very stand oh, oh, hey. And yeah. you give me a punch. Give me a punch. Oh, he's a crazy criminal. Don't smile. I can't believe it. Oh, and make sure if you're visiting Madrid, come here, Plaza Mayor, and visit the one and only no, Spider-Man. This is for you, Jim. The Nick Knight. <laughs> Spider-Man even has a business card. Batman has a symbol he shines in the sky. Spider-Man, a business card. <laughs> Spider-Man has Instagram, Jake. Spider-Man has Instagram. Spider-Man have a TED de talk. Spider-Man's not gonna lie. Spider-Man has a TED talk. He has a TED talk. He has a, seriously, he's got a TED what? talk. You see, Jake's experienced at blogging. He's so experienced. When he comes out, he doesn't even bring any money with him, which makes me worried about the places we're gonna go and eat at now. Look at this. Look at this. Poor Spidey. That's Sam Raimi Spider-Man nowadays. He wasn't in the new one with the parallel universes. Yeah, Spider-Man has TED Talk. Yeah. It's called Spider-Man Gordo. Gordo means fat. So Spider-Man Gordo is his TED Talk. TED Talk is normally doctors and things, isn't it? Yeah, he's talking about scientists and people like that. I didn't think Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider uh, yeah, it's coming like. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Hey Chucky! Guy. Um, How you doing brother? Do you really need to have a Chucky? I mean let's look at where we are. So when that guy was choosing a costume, so he's there choosing a costume, I'm in Madrid, tourist centre, family, kids, what costume do I need? And then he thought to himself, Chucky. Yeah. Right. I mean, you would have thought like yeah. a matador or something. Yeah, or, or flamenco dancers. Yeah. yeah, what else is Spanish? No, uh, oh, what are they called? The ch 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 The ch 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 You know, the ch 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 The ch 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 What, Italian people? No. Hey, 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 you're Italian. <laughs> Hello. Hello. It's Michael Jackson inside there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Gracias. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. 
Okay, so we're gonna have a walk over here. There's a calamari place here. Okay. And I think you know the name of it, don't you? Ah, calamari bocodio. Well, yeah, and what? Hey! Um, Io sono Jake. Better Jack. Io sono Francesco. Francesco. Are you guys here with school? Oh, you're Czech. What's that? Is it I'm chilling. I'm chilling. You're chilling. Yeah. Is it here. Good is Italy? Yeah. Subscribe. Huh? Wow. Italy better. Yes. Yeah, better. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Rick Rick meets. Meets. Rick meets. Rick and I'll John keep you in the video, okay? okay? Yeah. What country are you from? Italy. Nice. Amazing. Amazing country. See you guys later. Have fun in Madrid, yeah? Thank you. Thank you, boys. See you later. Wow. I feel like there's, uh, there's Did you so get a subscriber? No, did you? Yeah, too. Oh, amazing. So we're here to get a Bocchideo Calamare. Oh, wow. Look at this line here for oh, this. So we've come Calamari Bocchideo. Look at everyone here lining up for the Calamari Bocchideos. <laughs> this line is if you want to get a seat and sit inside. It's only a very small place, as you can see. And this is a line if you want to get it for takeaway. One thing that's super interesting though here, you see the line for this place here, but there's also a place right next door to it. And it has no line at all. So two huge lines for this one. This one, unfortunately, has no lines. But again, it seems a shame. I actually want to try the place with no line. You know, I mean, a lot of times people go to one place just because it's traditional, it's a place they've been going to for years or their grandparents took them to, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's any better. I guarantee you, if we tried one, well, maybe we should. Let's try this. Yeah. Well, what do they serve here mainly? Is it the bocadillo? It's the bocadillo calamari, yeah. the calamari baguette. But here, this place says the same thing, but with no line. Okay. So why don't we see is this one better than this one? Okay, yeah, sure. Okay. So I'll go and get one from here. Okay. You get one from this one. Okay. We'll try. Okay. And we'll see. Is Did it really? Like is it worth lining up for this one when you have this one with no line? So it's a battle of the Boko deal. I mean, it looks good here. Gracias. Hola, Hola, señor. ¿Qué tal? Bien. Let's get a look in there. Look at those bocadillos cooking away. Calamari. Oh no, yo tengo efectivo. Pay with cash. Okay, so this calamari bocadillo here, you saw no line. I just walked straight up and I got it instantly. Absolutely instantly. And it's four euros for this calamari bocadillo. Jake's in the line, he's gonna get one from next door. We're gonna compare and see, is one better than the other? Do you need to line up or could you just come here and get it straight away? How quick was that? Have you got it already? Yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna go and eat while you line up for the oh, next brilliant. hour. Right, it's great. Uh, wish me luck, mate. Enjoy, see you later. I'll be back when I'm full. We've been in this line a long time. So yeah. this we got in less than what, 20 seconds? 20 seconds, yeah. This has been, oh, we've been here, I don't know, 20 minutes so far? Yeah. Probably 20 minutes. Oh, oh uh, here we I go. Get, uh, uh, no, I'm excited to try these. We've got the one from La Campagna, mm -hmm. and then the, what was it, Summer la, Ideal? Yeah, La Ideal. La Ideal. Sit on the stairs outside Mercado San Miguel. Okay, is that San Miguel like the beer? It's, it, it is San Miguel like the beer. Yeah. Although no affiliation. No affiliation. It's oh. just as in St. Michael. Why are, you, uh, why are you getting my hopes up like that? Oh. Okay, so we're gonna go into this Mercado San Miguel in a little bit, but for now we'll sit outside, we'll try these bocadillos and see which one's better. Yeah, sure. Is it worth it? So you've got the good one. Well, you've got the one with the line. Yeah. And I've got the no line, five second one. Both of them are four euros. Yeah. Oh, okay, let's just try. Maybe okay. we try mine first because okay. it's older. Okay, yeah. And it's a bit soggier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. There we go. Brilliant. Now we've halved it. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. It's massive though, look at that. It is, it is absolutely. 
Yeah. Massive. Hey, the thing that you need if you're a Brit is some good old beige food. <laughs> yeah. That's really good. Mm -hmm. It's nicely seasoned as well. It's not too salty. Yeah. It does have salt, but it's not too salty. It's not too fishy. No, it's not too fishy. Yeah. The batter is very light. Yeah. Let's see if I can wow. show this. But the batter, it's not like an onion ring batter where it's super crispy. Yeah. It doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't feel oily. Hey, the no line is holding up. This is the no line. Yeah. He's holding up. I'm enjoying this. Yeah. A bit of lemon on this and it would have been perfect. Oh, mate, or garlic mayo. I've noticed that though because I, uh, I've tried this before. I went to a place called El Brilliente. Yeah. Which is quite famous, right? Brilliant. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, and they didn't put any sauce on either. Mm -hmm. And as, uh, as you know in England, sauce is everything on a sandwich. Sauce is everything. So, surprising. But you know what? Give it a try because I'll tell you now, Without the sauce, it's still brilliant. El Brilliente. <laughs> but this is not from El Brilliente. No, this is no line La Adil. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's it. <laughs> wow. That's it. If you're saying it wrong, leave a comment in the comments and let us know how Jake should be saying ideal in Spanish. You're just raw dog in the calamari, mate. <laughs> For the Give Germans watching, yeah. raw dog. <laughs> It's a different type of raw dogging he means here. <laughs> I'm not in a field. Oh. Yeah, blow me neck. So, are we going to try the next one then? Right, here we go. Oh, got some branded. I see this one has branding. This one's got branding. Right, well, let's get it out. Does the bread feel the same? Well, go on, have yourself a little calamari oh, ring, mate. Yeah. I'll be <laughs> buying you a San Miguel later, yeah? Now, look at this one. Je Paddy. Look at that, man. It's better. Look at that, mate. Is, that, is, is it better? It is night and day, oh, the man. difference. Yeah, look at that. Wow. I, 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 I'm shocked. I didn't think it would be different. Yeah. I wanted, I wanted the place with no line to be better. I yeah. wanted it to be the winner. I wanted to give them some love. The, the underdog. But no. I know. I was, I was hoping the underdog was going to win it, mate, you know. This one is crispier, saltier. Well, anyway, let's figure out how we break yeah, this. Right. Wow. This is, that. you can feel how much crispier it is, yeah, the, um, the calamari. Oh, saltier. Wow. Oh, wow, yeah. But, the, <laughs> but why, if you're next door and you see the place next door to you with a line, all that this is is just the flour is crispier and it's got more salt. Yeah. Why wouldn't you just do the same thing? Oh, and there's a shit. lot. I mean, yeah. imagine you've got half there and I've got the other half. Yeah. I mean, but, you know, there's a lot. Yeah, that sorted me out, mate. We're meant to I be know. doing a food tour. And Don't need to do it. <laughs> that's, that's how cheap it is to eat in Madrid. Four oh, euros. Man. You can go back to the room now, yeah. take a nap. That's it. It's done. Yeah. End of the video now. <laughs> I'm oh, joking, don't, don't click away, I'm joking. There's still more places to come. Well, let's go check out somewhere else. Sounds good, man. Okay, so as I was mentioning to you before, we're gonna go check out Mercado San Miguel. We're not gonna eat in here because this is about cheap eats. Wow. After you, Rick. I'll lead the way, yeah? Lead the way, follow the leader. Oh. So is this mainly a touristy place? It's a touristy place here, yeah. but you'll see it's full of locals as well. Yeah. But I don't think the locals will come here necessarily to eat. Okay. It's more about having a glass of wine or a glass of vermouth. Okay. And then from then they go on to somewhere else to eat. I mean, let's not forget, today is what, Thursday? Yeah. So today's Thursday, and this place is absolutely insane. Now let's look here at the calamari inside here. Okay, so this is the calamari. So four euros outside. And this has just been sat there. It's cold. It's not even under a hot light. And if you look at these calamaris, this will be for a portion. A little cone like that is 16 euros. 16, 16 euros. 17. 17. Even more. Certainly. Well, you wouldn't want to cross swords, would you, with that one? <laughs> I'll see what you did there, mate. <laughs> that was good, you. Yeah. You like that one? You, you like that one? <laughs> you like that one? <laughs> well, a bit of paprika on that. That'll be sorted. That. You know what I mean? I feel the whole family. Good. Right. Mate. Wow. Have a look at this. Beautiful. Shoot alone, mate. Oh wow. 
This is Yam Yambon, right? Is that Saleno? Or? Hamon. 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 Yeah. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> Ask him to spell out the word subscribe. <laughs> We're here right now in Seoul. So this is the main square close by to Plaza Mayor where we've been. And it's an absolutely stunning location. You want to get the authentic experience. I mean, this is one of those places, whilst it is a big tourist area, yeah. it's also just a normal area. This is your everyday life area. This would be the um, what's it, Champs-Elysees of Paris. Yeah. Or your Times Square area of New York. Oh, yeah, Chim Sa Choi of Hong Kong. Yeah, okay. I'm getting the feeling of it, man. It's bustling, there's people around, there's some good food. Now, We're going to get pork. about this pork? I've no idea, I've never tried it. <laughs> Currently, according to Google, it's one of the top places to eat. Okay. Or one of the places you must try when in Madrid. Okay, so I've just told these guys that, ah, oh, Rick has said this is the best pork in, in Madrid. Um, <laughs> Could be. Could right, be. I wasn't lying, okay, right? But I, that's the I thing. Thought, I thought, I thought, but apparently not. So, I mean, the food is good anywhere you go, but maybe it is better. I mean, look, I, after 17 years, I've learned today that the best place to get a calamari bocadillo yeah. is not ideal, but it's not ideal. It's not ideal. <laughs> it's not ideal. <laughs> it's next, they've got the worst name. Yeah. I mean, come on, that place, it's like, it's not very good, yeah. it's not ideal. It's not so, ideal. where do you go and get a bucket of uh, calamari? You can go here, but it's not ideal. I mean, <laughs> it's just, it makes no sense. It's all about uh, La Campana. La Campana. La Campana. I see, this is something I always say, mate, and I, I've probably said this way too many times in every video, but you don't get this in Birmingham, man. <laughs> Look at that. Imagine you have a little flat up there, mate. Yeah? Come downstairs, get a boco dio. A San Miguel. I imagine is this more of a more of an expensive area though. No, I mean for for a capital city in yeah. Europe, Madrid is relatively inexpensive. Yeah, we've just gone lost. Right, you know, you've been here 17 years and you're relying on Google already. Well, I know. Yeah, I just don't know the specific place. <laughs> but look at this again. We just walked down a nothing street, and look at what you come out to. <laughs> We're here. Look for Cassatoni. 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 Hey, there we go. Did you see it? Yeah, you see it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's right there. It's the one that says Cassatoni. There we go. Look at that. Okay. okay. You wanna yeah, yeah, go in? Grab the table in the middle. Okay because I'm nervous to walk in with my camera. So you can go for you can break the ice. Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola, ¿qué tal? Puede grabar, ¿no? Sí, muchísimas gracias, hombre. We're going to get some porky porky goodness. Sounds good. No no brain. No brain. No brain. Goodness me. I want to keep down the boca dios. I don't want it coming back up again and saying hello. Brilliant. So, okay, so here we are. Nice. So with your beer and with my drink, we did actually get some tapas, as oh, you can yeah. see here. So this is the tapas, oh, yeah. and this is lacon. I suppose the closest way to describe this is like a Christmas ham, and it's got pimiento and olive oil on it. But that's the free dish that we got with the drink. But the reason we've come over here is to try this pork. This is pan fry, what they call on a plancha, which is a big flat hot grill like you see in burger places. And this is... Oreja de cerdo. Oreja de cerdo. Is that right? <laughs> okay, a few moments later. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. So grab your fork. Hey, hello. Hey. Hola. Hey, hola. hola. Do you reckon this plato is the most famous one here? Yes. It's the best plato. They said it's the most famous plate. It's oh, the wow. delicious one. Oh my God. And you know what? I've eaten this dish a million times. And here, it's really good. This is a really typical thing you would eat when you're having a beer. Okay. It, it works really well. It's, a, it's very greasy, it's very fatty, the pork. And it works amazingly with beer. Real? I'll try about the sauce first. So this is pork belly? This is pork belly yeah. with uh, potato, um, potato brava. brava sauce, yeah. which is like almost like a slightly spicy, tangy ketchup. 
It's got parsley and garlic on it. Oh, okay. Let's give it a go. It's pork belly. But this is better than other places I've had it without it out. Oh, wow. Can I get some crunches, pieces? Okay. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. Isn't it good? And it's keto friendly, so there's no carbs involved here. I'm very happy with that, buddy. Where do you very think? Happy with that. Uh, I don't know what to say, mate. There's like a little bit of a pork scratching kind of vibe to it. It does. You know it's I mean? almost like a gelatinous. Yeah. yeah. That's the best way to describe it. It's like a gelatinous pork scratching. Yeah. Wow. Now, what if I was to tell you oh, that on major now. Come on now, what are you going to say now, man? What are you going to say now? It's not brain, is it? It's pork. Oh. No, it's not. You're lying to me. You're lying to me now. Pork? It's pork. Yeah, but you could be pork brain. Or pork uh, cojones. The second one is very close. Oh, come on now. Come on now. You're being silly now, Rick. This is not penis. No, no it's not. No it's not. No it's not. <laughs> Promise me. No, don't, don't, come on. Why did it taste so good? <laughs> that is not, that is not. Well, uh, that would have been the first time that I've ever tried anything like that. And, and you're from the black country. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's an ear. It's an ear. It's a, it's a pig's ear. Ah, yeah. So, how is it? Is it a pig's ear? Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. No. When you say pig's ear to people, they're going to be like, I'm not going to eat a pig's ear. Yeah. But, it, no, yeah. but it's good. It's not one of the things I'd go for, yeah. you know what I mean? And if, and if you look at it, you can actually see now, now I've mentioned it's ear. You can see more closely now when you look at it, the slices, you can see, so there's a, it's ear, like this part is, you can see the skin of the ear, and then there's a bit of the gristle and everything where it's just sliced up the ear. That is crazy. Yeah. But I must admit here it's very good. This is yeah. it's great. We should really mention the price though, shouldn't we? Oh yeah, how much was it? Because this is a big portion. Hold on. On the pregante, que precio esta? Quanto cuesta? Que precio? Ocho. Seis noventa. Seis noventa. Buenísimo. Beautiful, mate. Beautiful. What? What's the damage? 6.90. Oh. We're still in sure. business, man. We're, it's alright. We haven't overdone it. I have never seen it that cheap. Oh, wow, really? Uh, not that cheap. Oh, wow. And it's good. But this is a big portion. Well, I mean, you can get bigger portions, obviously. But this, considering it's just a small ration, but this is, there's a lot here. I mean, there's two of us eating this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're tag teaming this, baby. I know, man. This. Don't don't do it. Not another reference. Not another. <laughs> right. So we walked past it. Oh god. <laughs> here. Oh, is it over here? We go to this Brilliant. place here. To the black pudding. So this is right bank. So here we are again. This is where Plaza Mayor was. All of this stuff is right in the centre. The one thing you've got to be very careful about is when we went inside the plaza where Spider-Man is, you want to avoid, avoid, avoid those restaurants. Okay. They are terrible. Those are just overpriced okay. and very, very low quality. But these places are fine. May I prefer this? This is more of my alley. Yeah, it reminds See. me of a... Gracias. Gracias. Are you ready I'm for ready. some black pudding? Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Please, it must be your sombre. Yeah. Muy amable. Nice. No, Hombre, una pregunta. ¿Tienes un poquito de alioli? Así, mi compañero. Sí, alioli. Gracias. Gracias. Una más coffee. Gracias. I got some. It's noisy in here, isn't it? I know. And there's no customers. Look at the size of that. We got some alioli. Okay. Now, you don't normally eat this with alioli, okay. but I can eat anything with alioli. Okay. No, is, it, is that like, uh, what's in this, like uh, um, said earlier? It's with rice, yeah, rice. it's black pudding. Yeah, yeah. So Sorry, it's, it's pig's blood with rice. Pig's blood with rice. But if you, and it, what they do is they powder it with flour and then fry it. Okay. It doesn't. 
look like pig's blood. No, it's nice and it feels crispy as well. It's, it's crispy. It doesn't look like the process. It's crispy. Oh. There you go. Mm. My first time trying Spanish black pudding. It's so good. Is it? Okay. It's so good. I'm a little bit scared. Man. I'm not gonna lie. It's so <laughs> good. A little bit, man. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yo, why have I not eaten this before? I know. It doesn't taste anything like it's blood. Nothing like blood. I thought it was gonna be like iron again. Yeah, 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 but it isn't. Oh, you see the rice in there. Mm. Yeah, you got the rice in there, bro. That is, that is quality. But it's it's kind of perfumey, aromatic. Yeah. There's like herbs and spices. It's it's not really on the couch, just spray some <laughs> <laughs> on there. <laughs> wow. Mate, that is spot on. Mm. Yeah, you need to you need to come and try this out. Slap bang in the heart of the tourist area. This should be pretty bad because it's a tourist area, but it's not. Price wise, this is eight euros. So eight euros is uh, seven pounds for a plate of this. With two cokes, it'll be seven, eight, nine, seven, eleven. This will be twelve euros with the cokes. Yeah. That's about the same as the last place, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go check out. Let's go check out one more place. Okay. Which is gonna be on the next street, which is the famous free tapas place. Okay. So we're doing everything on a budget today. Yeah. Of course. We've paid for food so far. Yeah. Let's go somewhere now where you don't need to pay for food. Hey, that's what we like to hear, Rick. Free, I free know. food. I'm getting tingles in my ear. But I'm not talking about just a little bit of free tapas. I'm yeah. talking about who's your daddy tapas. Okay. Okay, so we're talking some big, what was the word? Cajones. You got to <laughs> Sorry, cajones tapas, yeah. <laughs> that's what we're gonna get. So it's your who's your daddy tapas. Yeah. It's free, it's in a place called El Tigre. There's one just off, um, we're in the Chueca area. I think they have two locations, roughly. It's not slap bang in the Chueca area. It's just on one of the side streets off. Okay. You'll see we're walking there now. Oh, um, basically, you get yourself a pint or a Coca-Cola or whatever you want, and they bring you literally a plate of, um, oh, a plate of rice, a plate of chicken, little like little sandwich things. Now, one thing to remember in these places, the more you eat, the more, sorry, the more you drink, okay. the more they bring. So okay. you have a drink, they give you your tapas. Yeah. You have another drink, okay, it gets a bit better, your tapas. Okay. The more you drink, usually they start giving you better and better oh. and better tapas. Okay, so the more, oh, so we're going to be eating caviar by the end of the By the end of it, we're going to be eating caviar. <laughs> Here we go, El Tigre. And it's a cideria, so it's a cider house. Yeah. I like it, mate. Like we said, you just get yourself a beer, a soft drink, whatever you want. Huge place of tapas. Check this out, this is free. Free tapas. Free tapas. Free. <laughs> so this is nuts, nice, yeah. Is this for us? Yeah, the drinks. So one Coke, one beer. Okay, one Coke, one beer. So this is what's been paid for. That's been paid for. So it's like 10 euros for a pint and a Coke. 350 mil Coke. And this is the free tapas. This is what we bought, folks. Right? Everything else is on the house. Okay, so 11 euro 50. And look at that. There's jamón, there's lacón, there's tortilla, there's queso, there's chorizo, patata bravas, pimiento, looks like champignones, mushrooms, um, pimiento padrón, this is called. Paella, looks like paella's got pork, chicken, croquetas, free. And that's with your first drink. I know. So every drink you have, they're gonna bring you more. So more and more. You have another drink. So let's say we have another drink here. We'll get this again, but not the same, they'll have different dishes. So right now, when you think of what we got, I think if we order more, we'll get like chicken wings, we'll get. I mean, I have no idea. <laughs> but this is balmy. Right, so what shall we try first? 
Well, you've never had paella. I've never had paella. never had paella. Oh, I can't even pick it up. The plate is so heavy. I swear to God, the plate is so heavy. That is the way. Seriously, you, if you... That is... Hold that plate. That's got weight to it, that has. Is that about two kilos? Jesus. Two kilos, easily. Yeah, so that's a hefty paella. Two kilos, easily. Go on, have your first ever try. Right, let's, let's get this a go. You want to hold? Yeah, go on then, thank you. Right, which, which bit do I take? Oh, that's my fault. Right, let's add a bit of this pork with it. Some there pork. we go. I mean, it's not going to be good paella. It's going to be yellow rice. I mean, we're not in a special place. But it'll be all right. It's still good, man. It's still good. It's still good. Look at the, look at that. No, I like that for free, mate. I think if they charge me ten pounds for it, then I'd probably turn. Exactly. Go, you know, yeah. Maybe not. Yeah. Ham on. Let's give this a try. Is this that famous ham on? Yeah. It's um, a cheaper quality one, but it's fine. Oh, no, man. You tell me, you're probably the expert in Spanish food, man. You can tell me if it's good or not. Okay, that paella is not good. It's fine, it, but it's not like a paella. It's more like a... Uh, just like a wet wet rice with fake saffron. But it's fine. You know, you come here, you're having your beer. Um, more than happy to eat it. Give this a go. Wow. That's banging that. And what are these? Uh, mashed potato croquettes. So it's got potato inside. Okay. I mean, realistically, the beer here is more expensive than you'd normally pay. So they are charging you a little bit more, but it's a tiny bit more for the amount of food. It's. Mm. Right. Well, you won't get a place in England where no. you're, you're eating for free, really. No. Do you know what I mean? And if you were, the pints would be 10. 15 pounds, right? Just to make it up. Mm. They're mega, they are. They're nice. The croquettes. Yeah, the croquettes. I'm gonna finish this food. We're gonna eat, we're gonna get the beers in, we're gonna say goodbye. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey. Like, share, subscribe. Rick Meets World, Jake Cooper Travels.